Were you just listening to the sound of my Tascam cassette recorder or an advanced computer emulation? Today we're asking ourselves, does a cassette plug-in compare to the real deal? Here we go. We are comparing the cassette plug-in by Waves Factory to my actual real-life 1987 Tascam Porta 2. No, I'm not affiliated with Waves Factory. No, they did not ask me to do this. Yes, I'm just a curious nutcase with a penchant for science experiments. One of my good friends and bandmates pointed me to this cassette plug-in, and I was curious how close it is to the real thing. Shout out to the Motor Tom. Go check them out if you like sexy 80s synth dance rock. I'm also gonna quickly say that this video is strictly about sound and nothing to do with the philosophy of using the Tascam versus computer recording. Clearly the cat's out of the bag and I do both. I'm not a purist, don't judge me. Before we get into the experiment, let's take a look at the cassette plugin. I'm gonna be very brief here because there are plenty of reviews on this plugin that go very in depth Links to my favorite ones below. For today's experiment, I just want to show you how cool this plugin is that it allows you to use the four different types of tapes one, two, three, and four. Uh, we will be using type two because that's what I use in real life. And then it also has this pro, home, and micro setting. We will be using the home setting because that should be, in theory, closest to what we uh, have with the Tascam. And also, the native setting on this plugin is super staticky. Uh, I guess that's something maybe people who work in DAWs are really after. So you got to bring down this. I tried to bring this down to a reasonable real life level. Sorry, that wasn't scientific, but it's as close as we're going to get. Uh, so yeah, again, in theory, this will be as close to what I use in real life. A type 2 cassette on a home setting. All right, back to you, other made on tape, man. Okay, soon I'll be asking you to put on your listening brain and guess along with me. The experiment. I've recorded a few instruments three times in three ways. Number one, using the Tascam directly onto a cassette. Number two, using the Tascam preamp directly into Logic with the Waves Factory cassette plug-in. And number three, using the Tascam preamp directly into Logic with no plug-in at all. You might be asking, why are you using the Tascam preamp every single time? Personally, I think a big part of the Porta 2 sound is the preamps, and we want a control subject to determine if the plug-in and the actual tape are noticeable. I will be changing no settings on the preamp for science. So, in theory, we should really hear the difference when there is no tape or tape plug-in put on the sound recording. Is this becoming a video on tape saturation itself? Without further ado, here's a bass recorded three times, played back to back. Remember, it's either going to be A, real tape, B, the cassette plug-in, or C, no tape and no plug-in. Here we go. Okay, you've heard all three. Any guesses? The first one was B, the cassette plug-in. The second one was C, no plug-in. And the third one was A, real cassette tape. 
Moving on, let's hear something with a little bit more high end. My favorite silly synth sound on the Roland Gaia spread with reverb. Ready, set, go! All right, you've heard all three. Any guesses? The first one was real tape. The second one was the cassette plug-in. And the third one was no plug-in. This is pretty hard, isn't it? Last example will be an entire mix of the instruments, adding drums. That means the cassette plug-in will be put on a bus as opposed to each individual instrument. Are you ready? Check it out. <laughs> Okay, you've heard all three of the mixes. Any guesses? The first one was C, no plug-in. The second one was B, the Waves cassette plug-in. And the third one was Real Tape. Man, I'm telling you, this one was pretty tricky, which is saying a lot. Uh, of, there's a couple of things. I've got a couple of takeaways from this. Takeaways from this. Actually, I have more than a couple of takeaways. Uh, I've been listening back to everything, and it's really, really fascinating. I mean, the first takeaway, uh, just right off the bat to get out of the way, is those Tascam preamps sound sick. I love them. Let's talk about the bass first. I'm a bassist, so I'm very, very in tune in key with the sound of a bass. Um, and it is very fascinating uh, listening back. The preamp naked sounds more mid-rangey, as in no, when there was no cassette or cassette plug-in, just the preamp, it was very mid-rangey. And then both the Waves Factory plug-in and the uh, actual tape uh, gave a bass bump, for sure. The synth? <laughs> This, some of you out there might be able to hear the difference well, but the synth sound was really, really tough to hear the difference. And I suspect that has a lot to do with that it was mostly uh, high-end content. And let's talk about the uh, full mixes. I think this is where it's definitely the clearest, where you can hear what's going on. First off, with uh, no cassette and no cassette plug-in and no real cassette, um, you can hear all the instruments very clearly, uh, very mid-rangey. You throw on that Waves Factory cassette plug-in to those direct signals, and the Waves Factory plug-in is definitely adding a bass bump. But what it isn't doing is sucking out the highs. 
Now that is what's interesting about the plug-in. Now when you compare that to the real tape, the real tape sucks out the highs. And uh, normally you would compensate for that with EQ or you don't, so maybe you like it. I also notice a real cohesion, uh, a glue quality to the uh, cassette, uh, the, the real um, tape. The real tape uh, to me sounds, uh, again, bass bump, uh, less high end, but more um, together. I know that's very vague and I don't like using vague language, but uh, here we are. So overall, my takeaway from this experiment has been A, those Tascam preamps sound sick to me. And then the, when you compare the plug-in to real life cassette tape, uh, they're very, the Waze Factory did a very good job. And then they also don't suck out the high end uh, for all you DAW users out there. Uh, very cool. Back to you, other Made on Tape Man. I love this plugin. Just because I have a YouTube channel and music centered around the Tascam Porta 2 doesn't mean I'm not all about convenience. You can get really extreme with this plugin, and it's really great if you want to add vibe to a single instrument or vibe to an entire mix. Lo-fi hip-hop producers should be all over this plugin. Look, if you're just looking for the sound rather than the experience of recording to a cassette, this plugin is dope as shit. Obviously, it's a teeny weeny itty bitty fraction of the price of acquiring one of these machines. It requires no maintenance and it requires no purchase of actual cassettes, which starts to... But there is nothing like the experience of getting out of the box, off a computer, and immersing yourself in the music on an old cassette recorder. If you really have the desire to put those limitations on yourself, I cannot recommend a Porta Studio enough. For me, this machine has been extremely liberating. With that, as always, peace and be good to each other. Don't drop it, you piece of shit.